Well, a remarkable story tonight of a young mother who lost her arms and legs, but not her spirit. A bizarre infection nearly took her life, but now, thanks to a local prosthetic program, the girl is starting to walk again, and in the process, she's learning a lot about herself. Here's Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne. Count of three, one, this two, yep. three. If you feel like being inspired, all you have to do is look at 29-year-old Shannon Smith. She's learning how to do everything all over again, and she's doing it with a smile. To me, I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm still Shannon. The Buffalo mother had to have all of her limbs amputated in January of 2011. She was six months pregnant with her second son when she got sepsis from what appears to have started as pneumonia. She lost her son, spent three weeks in a coma, and then her arms and legs literally began to die. I knew that it was going to have to happen because I saw the way my limbs were. But now she has custom-made prostheses for all her limbs thanks to East Coast Orthotic and Prosthetic Corporation in Deer Park, Long Island. Island. The company serves some 700 new patients like Smith every week. Christopher Berger is helping Smith learn how to use her prostheses. So when she fires her muscle, there you go. This is what it looks like inside her prosthetic arm. You see the electrodes off to the right. They respond to her muscle movements. See, now that's easy. Yeah, that's but... small and easy. But if you had to pick up that battery pack, yes. Oh there you go. Small movements are a big deal for Smith's mother, Roxanne, who's her caretaker now 24-7. We just take it one day at a time and, you know, keep our faith and know that, you know, good things are coming. Inside Shannon's prosthetic leg, there's actually a small computer that has four sensors that go down into her foot. So as she walks, it sends signals back up to her knee so she can decide whether she wants to bend her knee or straighten it. Did I just have to learn how to go a little bit faster? Because after she gets the basics down, Smith is hoping to do something she always loved to do, run. In Deer Park, Long Island, Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.